program. In this series, we'll learn about Pablo El Guerra's secrets to style and etiquette in the contemporary art world. Are you an A-level artist? B or C level? Well then, you may find this series of instructional videos quite helpful. As you know, making good work can be difficult, and finding a show even more so. In today's installment, we'll be reviewing proper conduct at art openings. The art world is considered by many to be the most sophisticated game ever invented. In order to learn how to play it, the novice should imagine the art world as if it were a game of chess. Let's begin. As in chess, art world is played by six major pieces. These six pieces, the king, queen, bishop, rook, knight, and pawn, represent the major roles played in the art world. In chess, each piece has one type of move. In art world, each piece can move in three different ways. One, there is social motion. In social motion, a piece on the board can approach one or more players at once, like a party, reception, or some other gathering. Two, financial motion. In this move, a piece controls another one by acquiring art or employing other players. This can often be the most basic and powerful move on the board. 3. Political motion. Each piece has its own innate political moves that comes with their role, but each piece can build on its position over time, influencing other players in the game as if it were a different piece. The King. This player's primary role is to retain its innate political motion and financial power via social motion. The Queen. The Queen is the most powerful piece in the game. This piece has enormous ability to express the three different motions in the game. The Bishops. Bishops in chess move diagonally, giving the impression that they do not have any particular bias toward left or right. The Rooks. Rooks or curators have unilateral powers supported by the Queen and other pieces. The Knights. Knights are unpredictable pieces with a long reach with value only slightly greater to that of the pawn. The Pawns Pawns are the least yet most important piece of the game. The king or museum director is completely powerless. The king needs the protection of his institution and museum staff. The support of the queen and more than one is important. While respected and revered in ways, they possess a dowager status, subject to large financial moves. The queen has the greatest mobility and can capture any other piece, making her the key piece in the game. The player's inability to maneuver her guarantees the loss of the game. It is usually the worst mistake in the game to antagonize the queen, since she is able to undo the careers of everyone else in the game, including that of the king. As the power of rooks lies in their position on the board, the power of a curator varies according to the professional position in the art world. This power is transitory. On some occasions, when curators are selected to run major exhibitions, their selection of an artist becomes similar to the support given by the rook to a pawn during the endgame. Alliances with the rooks, as with alliances with the queen, are vital to victory in the game. The bishops. They are the moral weight of the game. In this analogy, their association with the art world is similar to a religious compass. In an equally apolitical diagonal way, the critic tends to indirectly support the artists, or the pawns, and sometimes forges links with them that are extremely difficult to break by any other piece, including the queen. The knights. Knights are unpredictable pieces with a long reach with value only slightly greater to that of the pawn. Dealers travel far and wide to international art fairs, carrying their artists with them. Well utilized, they can guarantee the success of a game. Those who mount the right horse can reach success. Pawns are the least yet most important piece of the game. 
They are the most numerous, given their incessant proliferation by an art school business that produces new ones annually. It is very difficult to value them individually at the beginning of the game. Despite when they start advancing, they can gather strength and support by other pieces around them. A pawn that advances to the top of the chessboard is considered extremely dangerous by non-aligned players and a precious piece for those who are allied to it. When successful, an alliance between pawn and supporter piece can result in permanent recognition in art history. Once crowned, the pawn can maneuver with the same political motion as a queen 